This week at Computex, Microsoft and Qualcomm are announcing the Snapdragon 850. Today I'll tell you what it means for Windows 10. Stay tuned. So in a recent episode of Ask Dan, someone asked me, will there be a Snapdragon 845 for Windows 10 on ARM? And I said, no. And I wasn't lying. That's because they're skipping it and they're going to Snapdragon 850, which is a whole new thing that a lot of people were not expecting. And what's the big deal about it? Well, this is the first chip that's actually made for Windows 10 that's also ARM-based. So this is not going to be ever found in smartphones. I want to make that absolutely clear. This chip is made for Windows 10 devices, specifically computing devices, and that's one of the changes there. There's now a new name, it's called Mobile Compute Platform, and it's running the Qualcomm Snapdragon system. And I think that's an important distinction. Mobile Compute is different than Mobile PC. And I think that's because we're going to start to see new form factor devices coming out. In fact, Qualcomm said as much during their press event for this new chip. So we can also probably read into that a little bit. Yes, we are expecting Snapdragon 850 to be found in the new Andromeda device. In fact, one of our insiders told us it was originally called the Snapdragon 845S, but it later became Snapdragon 850. All right, so what is the Snapdragon 850? Well, it's a second generation 10 nanometer chipset from Qualcomm that's mobile based. Now, what's the difference between it and say the 845? There's not a lot that we know about the exact architecture, but what we can tell you is a few things about it. First of all, this is optimized for larger devices that run Windows 10, specifically how the cores operate and balance the operating system. Before, we're using a Snapdragon 835. In fact, in this device in front of me is running that. This is a straight up mobile processor from phones. What's been done now is Microsoft and Qualcomm have worked more closely together to optimize this chip for newer hardware and Windows 10. So the way it balances the operating system and apps is gonna work better with this chip than say a Snapdragon 845. Related to all this, Qualcomm did some of their own market research and they showed that 22% more people this year are willing to pay for LTE on mobile devices like PCs versus in 2017. Likewise, 27% more want a PC with 20 hours of battery life or more versus in 2017. So we are seeing growing desire and momentum for these types of devices. And that's what the Snapdragon 850 is going to help answer. One of those changes is going to be the modem. So we're going from an X16 to an X20 modem, and that's going to improve speeds from a 1. gigabit per second to 1.2 gigabits per second, which is kind of insane for a mobile device and still kind of theoretical for most of us. But all you need to know is this is going to be a better modem, knowing that it will work with more carriers worldwide. So this is going to have better and easier certification to get these devices on many networks compared to last year's X16 modem. When it comes to graphics, there's also the new Cryo 835 graphics processor on this chip. And that's going to be bumped from 2.6 gigahertz up to 2.95 gigahertz. So yes, we'll see a performance increase there for graphics, which is going to be super important for Windows 10 devices. I should also mention I asked Qualcomm, and yes, this chipset supports multiple displays, so you can run a second display off of it, which, I don't know, theoretically may be interesting for a device that had two displays. Just throwing it out there, they wouldn't say more about that. Other new features with this chipset, it's going to be support for Microsoft AI and machine learning. So you may have heard about some of this at Microsoft's Build conference a few months ago. AI is going to be a big deal in the coming years. And one aspect of that is making hardware that handles AI. Specifically, instead of letting the main cores run AI-specific tasks, you put it on a secondary chip. And that's what this chipset basically has, has dedicated hardware for AI. Now, out the gate, we won't see a lot of new AI stuff, but developers will be able to create create new tools using Microsoft's machine learning algorithms and take advantage of that hardware with this device. Now, in real world consequences, what we expect for this are things like improved grammar checkers or photo editing apps that can smartly look at what's going on in the image and correct it. Same thing with video editing. This is where machine learning is going to start to come into our lives and actually be a real instance of AI making our lives better. We'll have to wait a little while for that to happen. You just need to know that this chipset supports all of that. Another change is going to be with entertainment. So 
We already have devices that can support 4K playback, but 4K video capture was always strange. In fact, the Snapdragon 835 is kind of wishy-washy on this, even for Android devices, which all don't support 4K capture. Well, that's gonna be kind of fixed here for the Snapdragon 850, so whatever device you're gonna be using will be able to support 4K capture out the gate. You'll also have improved audio with new Aptex HD codec support, and Qualcomm's new Octistic, Octist, I can't pronounce their new audio algorithm. All you need to know is it's gonna be improved audio that's gonna be equivalent to something like what Dolby does with their devices. All right, so let's take it all in. So the Snapdragon 850, when can you expect it? I'm sure that's what you're wondering. So we're hearing it's gonna be around the holiday season of 2018. So expect it around November, December. And that also coincides with when we're expecting Andromeda to launch, but whether that actually happens, well, that remains to be seen as always. What we can tell you is there will be many new devices coming out with the Snapdragon 850. In fact, we expect a few here at Computex to be shown, but you won't be able to get those until later this year. So if you got a Snapdragon 835 device like me, well, you're still good for at least the rest of 2018. This is very exciting though. This is the first instance of Qualcomm teaming up with Microsoft for the long haul making a very specific chip just for Windows 10 devices. So this should answer all the questions that people have whether or not Qualcomm and Microsoft are actually committed to Windows 10 and ARM. I think they are. So if you want more information about the Qualcomm Snapdragon 850 and what it means for Windows 10, well, you can go to Windows Central. We'll have more information there as well as more info from Computex over the coming days. You can also subscribe to this channel. We'll be covering this topic a lot more over the coming weeks and months. So make sure you do that. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Take care, everybody.